It's happened again. Another dead fish spill on the local beach. This isn't the first time it's been a health problem for people who want to enjoy their summers on the sand. 10 on your side's Chris Horn has more from the eastern shore. People tell me they started noticing the dead fish about 730 this morning. This time, though, it was not just Menhaden. There were larger fish species involved as well. Normally, birds would have to hover over the open water to see fish in the bay. Not today. Up the coast, a dachshund wanted to take on this fish that was bigger than he was. It seems like an unmitigated environmental disaster. Beth Deal and her family are visiting from Roanoke. She was surprised by what she saw this morning on the beach at Kiptapeak State Park. Birds everywhere. And then a few minutes after that, we just saw thousands of menhaden floating towards the beach. And there was a huge uh, fleet of fishing boats, maybe eight big boats, and a lot of the small boats that come off the back end. Ashley Zinn and her family are here from York, PA. They told us to stay out of the water because there was an accident with boating, and there's a lot of fish laying out there. Three weeks ago, Omega Protein said one of its nets broke off Silver Beach, but that spill was mostly menhaden, Omega's target fish. Today's spill had larger sport fish, including red drum. Steve Silwinski and about 30 family members are renting homes at nearby Pickett Harbor. We started seeing just thousands of dotted fish in the ocean and then uh, came down about 930 with wheelbarrows, shovels, rakes, and we've just been burying them so that we can try to salvage the vacation. Could be days before we, we get the smell out of here or get these fish out of here, so right. not yeah. quite oh. enjoyable. We'll keep updating this story on wavy.com and have any further response from the Marine Resources Commission or Omega Protein about what happened here today at this state park. On the Eastern Shore, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.